Welcome to British Biomedicine Institute. Today we will explore digital subtraction, angiography, DSA, and radio diagnosis. Digital subtraction, angiography, DSA, is a fluoroscopic technique used extensively in interventional radiology for visualizing blood vessels. Radiopaque structures such as bones are eliminated, subtracted, digitally, from the image, thus allowing for an accurate depiction of the blood vessels. Digital subtraction and geography, whereby a pre-contrast image is acquired, then subtracted from subsequent post-contrast images, was made possible in the 1970s, thanks to real-time refreshing of the resulting images. There are numerous indications for angiography, and their number has been on the rise ever since interventional radiology has been shown to successfully supplant many open vascular procedures. Salient examples include endovascular aneurysm repair, arterial balloon angioplasty, arterial stenting, endovascular embolization, thrombectomy, the angiography suite must be equipped with the crash, cart and monitoring equipment. Patient heart rate and blood oxygenation are monitored continuously while blood pressure is measured intermittently via a self-inflating cuff. All procedures should be performed under strict aseptic conditions, including attire, technique and preparation. Pre-procedural evaluation of patient evaluation should include but is not limited to Presence of atherosclerotic disease, for example prior myocardial infarction Diabetes Renal function status Medications Allergies and previous exposure to iodinated contrast media Prior surgical procedures, especially vascular Reports from previously performed angiograms, if any Review of any relevant vascular imaging studies Example pre-procedural CT angiogram. The fluoroscopy unit consists of a C-arm unit that can be rotated axially and sagittally around the floating top table. The distance between the X-ray tube and the image intensifier can be adjusted as can collimation and several other parameters. In dedicated angiography units, there is a second set of controls for the angiographer. Radiographer. A modern angiography unit has all of the following features. Collimators, including oblique and filters for dose reduction. Pulsed fluoroscopy, with a variety of frame rates for dose reduction. Ability to change and display collimator position without fluoroscopy. Road mapping and landmarking. Last image hold and frame grab. Display of images side by side. Masks. Image enhancement. Different image manipulations. Sign. Measurements and quantification. Example of the degree of arterial stenosis. Digital subtraction and geography is used to produce images of the blood vessels without interfering shadows from overlapping tissues. This provides a clear view of the vessels and allows for a lower dose of contrast medium. The non-contrast image, mask image, of the region is taken before injecting contrast material and therefore shows only anatomy as well as any radiopaque foreign bodies, surgical clips, stents, etc., as would a regular X-ray image. Post-procedural care depends on the nature of the procedure and whether it was performed on an inpatient or outpatient basis. Patients should be immobilized for 4-6 hours and keep on supine position. Frequent observations should be done to look for puncture site hematomas, which is the commonest complication. Complications can be categorized into local and systemic complications. Local complications, puncture site. From the puncture site, commonest complication. Thrombus formation, local tissue damage, pseudonarism, arteriovenous fistula. Systemic complications are thromboembolism, air embolism, 
Vessel Dissection Contrast Mediated Nephrotoxicity Thank you for showing interest in British Biomedicine Institute Skilled Nano Degree Program. Hope you have gained a lot of clinical information through this presentation. Please share, like, and subscribe, British Biomedicine Institute channel. Good luck.